respect up on the street Under the sun, the best, the sun will pop the clock To feed himself and family in the game Dance, motherfuckers. <laughs> Alright guys, we're at Ferg Burger in Queenstown, New Zealand, waiting for our burgers to get ready. This is what happens when you're waiting for a burger. <laughs> and you've had way too much to drink. Oh, by the way guys, this is Shelly and James from Will Love Come to Town, Australian B-grade celebrities in the flesh. B-grade, motherfucker. All right, guys, we're at the famous Ferg Burger in Queenstown, New Zealand. Here it is. We're pretty fucked up right now. Oh my god. I really should be setting a fucking good example when I'm on YouTube. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta let loose. Yeah, we're at Ferg Burger after a massive night out on the drink. And um, this place is world famous in Queenstown. If you ever come down to Queenstown, make sure you hit up Ferg Burger. This, ha this place has burgers the size of your fucking head. It's insane. All right, we're on the bus to Remarkables and we're waiting for these two again. Look at these guys, always running late. Welcome to the team, gang. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Tales from the Chairlift by Adrian Nickelodeon. Like a rain the pussy. Okay, if you guys come to Queenstown, definitely recommend that you guys stay in a hostel. So as you know, staying in a hostel with six other dudes can get a little bit creepy at times, especially when you don't know these guys. This is so fucking hard to do. <laughs> I want to introduce you guys to two new dorm mates that have just arrived in the dorm room. We've got Dermot over here, he's from Wales. Shout out to my UK subscribers. And we have Lauren, Lauren, Lauren from Canada. Shout out to my Canadian subscribers as well. You guys are uh, number four in my ranking. I think UK is number three. Then we've got Australia and USA. Maybe, maybe. So these guys just rock up randomly um, <laughs> while I was in my undies in bed because I actually axed myself on the, um, on the box today. Hold on, let me just show you the back of my leg. Can you guys see that bruise on the back of my leg? I absolutely ate shit on the back of the box. Anyway, so I just want to highlight what um, hostel living is like. You always get random guys popping in out of nowhere and you got and girls and you guys are instantly best friends. I mean, we're drinking in the room right now. We shouldn't be drinking in the room, so we need to get rid of the evidence. We're about to hit the town and go have a great time. The, uh, the drinks are cheap out on the town. And um, yeah, Shelly's got half a left. Is there any pizza left in there? So we've got five day old pizza as well. Any of you sensitive motherfuckers that aren't used to this sort of living, try not to book a hostel room. But if you're down, come on down to Queenstown and have yourself a great time. Peace. Dude, I just pulled this book out from underneath the fucking... Hey guys, with the five dollars. From underneath the fucking bed. The beginner's guide for the recently deceased. We need to use these five dollars to mail back the book. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. We need to stop drinking. <laughs> And a comment on your fucking video and put Zach is a gay cunt. <laughs> but you're Zach. Who knows? <laughs> Life's a history. <laughs> Am I Zach or aren't I Zach? Here's the local sort of like 7 Eleven 24 hour food joint. Anyway, I left my phone in the apartment so I've got to run back and grab it real quick. Snow cat peaks up the top there got the lake in front of us it's just a little bit further down there there's a the famous devil burger in Queenstown massive burgers and this is where we're staying nomads I'm sharing a room with um, six other dudes at the moment we've actually only got five dudes in the room at the moment um, one spare bed we're on level two let's go it's pretty sweet backpackers accommodation like it's pretty clean and stuff like that um, everyone's heaps chill Everyone in this place is heaps young as well, so you can always like get along with people when you run into them in the corridors or in the common area and stuff like that. Sweet. So real quick, we've got the shower, we've got the bathroom. 
We've got the laundry as well, so you can get all your cleaning shit done, get your drying done as well. Got communal bathrooms up there. It's like three or four levels. Oh, down here you also get awesome Wi-Fi reception. I think they charge about 12 bucks per seven days worth of Wi-Fi. So you have to chuck an NZ SIM in there. I think an NZ SIM costs about 20 bucks for 500 megabytes of data and you pump through that in no time, especially if you've got a smartphone. So this is the 24 hour food joint. Lollies galore, chips, deodorant, shampoo, all of your cold goods, bacon and eggs if you want to cook. The whole back part is full of drinks. And if you don't feel like cooking, they've always got this hot food ready to go. So you've just got all this fried stuff. We've got meat pies, sausage rolls, fresh made sandwiches. There's always something to do in this town. It's fucking insane. I love this place, man. Holy shit. Shout out to Miss Ross Adventure. Motor vloggers singing in a helmet. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. I want to hold you so much What is up guys? Adrian Nickelodeon coming at you from Queenstown, New Zealand and we are at the loose track at the top of the hill in Queenstown having some fun some downhill action check out the view from up here guys everywhere we're surrounded by snow-capped mountains up here guys this place is fucking beautiful man I told you guys a little bit about this um, about this town in my crime story video probably about six months ago and I finally made it back to Queenstown and oh camera's out of focus I hope the camera wasn't out of focus for too long oh man I'm glad to be back here man this place is fucking beautiful do you guys remember watching the land before time with Littlefoot when he breaks through the the two pieces of rock and finds the valley of the tree stars That's what Queenstown, New Zealand is like. All right, guys. So it's six o'clock in the morning. We're just leaving Nomads Hostel in Queenstown to um, head back to Sydney to head back home. It's been an awesome week. It's been an epic journey, dude. This place has been fucking unreal. I actually want to take you guys on a quick tour. So this is like the main breakout sort of area. This is where they serve like the free free meals and stuff like that. We've got fireplace, got a smoking balcony, pool table, foosball. It's obviously the mess hall, kitchen in case you guys want to cook any food. Fridges in there. I, know, I probably wouldn't trust the fridges because shit would get taxed. But um, yeah, we've got male and female toilets on two levels at least. If you haven't got a toilet in your dorm, we're just gonna check out as well. All right, guys. So we're back at Sydney International Airport after our Queenstown, New Zealand trip. And um, we're just about to clear customs, so we're back in the country. Had an awesome time over in Queenstown. Highly recommend that you guys get over there, man. If you guys haven't been there before, head over to Queenstown. That place is in fucking insane. See you guys on the flip side.